Hi, this video is how to set up your Oregon City Safari external vest carrier. You want to get everything off your belt that you can and move it up. So, magazine pouches are the same, um, radios in the same spot, cages in the same spot, rifle mags in the same spot, batons in the same spot. You want to leave this side here slick, nothing on it that will interfere with your handgun draw. So, you may have to experiment a little bit. Baton. This is a 21 inch asp. Uh, it doesn't fit in here very well. It goes down too far. A 26 would probably work in this uh, sap pocket. Here, there's a pocket on the other side. All right. So, um, I run only a holster, a flashlight ring, and a baton ring on my gun belt. And I'm running a nylon inner and outer belt and a cover buckle. The cover buckles are awesome, they don't squeak like the plastic ones and they don't break. Um, they're really good. So with that, um, the pouches that I'm using are HSGI uh, taco cuff cases. The baton goes in an HSGI taco uh, subgun magazine pouch. And then I have a standard taco magazine pouch. These will take uh, magazines or magazine shaped things to include one inch flashlights. Over here, uh, OC, and this is a, I think a tactical tailor pouch, and then it has a malice clip on the back to hold it there. This originally was a glove pouch um, or a pager pouch, and that's my extra taser cartridge. And I secured that with zip ties. Some of these things are not critical, but they can be around a little bit. Um, this is an STAC Kiwi Triple. Uh, I like this better than the tacos because the tacos are, are singles and they move around a bit. Uh, this is just a lot more solid. This side of the carrier has really no backing behind it, so it wants to um, flop around a bit and this helps stabilize that. And of course, uh, I can run uh, you know, flashlights and magazines in here. These are uh, Magpul. Um, 21 routers or 20 routers, whatever these are. Flashlight, taser. Now, this would interfere with the light, except that, due to the curvature of the body, when this is actually on you, it doesn't interfere with this opening. Um, another STAC pouch, an STAC uh, raffle magazine pouch. Uh, pouch for the radio. This is the HSGI Taco. And it's a extended or correction high capacity magazine pouch. They do make a radio pouch now, but when I bought this, they didn't. It works pretty well for my needs. And in here, I have a, a blowout kit um, with uh, TCCC stuff in it. So, when you look at setting this up, I want to keep a row of Molly clean on one side of the zipper, and that helps. Uh, to be able to run the zipper up and down and you want to make sure that when you zip this thing that you pull this together when you start it up otherwise you're going to be um, stressing that zipper and you could probably pull it out running the comms wire so this is a two wire um, lapel mic and earpiece so let's run to underneath and this I made my own buttonhole uh, with a sharp knife and then singe the edges so they don't fray and that goes straight up to my ear it works a lot better than running it out the top so these run underneath this front layer and go inside this layer and then you run them down and then it comes out here so I actually looped some of the radio cord and, and secured it with tape so uh, take up some of the slack <clears throat> okay, so when you're looking at adding plates to this thing, which you can do, thin plates are going to work the best, not thick ones. You know, these are uh, 10 by 12 uh, tier HA3 7s, and um, they're a good plate, they're 3.5 pounds. So you can run a variety of, of 
plate sizes in here, you know, soft plates, but you can also run a 10 by 12. It's a bit of a very tight fit initially, and all the time this uh, opening loosened up a little bit, so um, it's a lot easier to get in and out. And on the back, of course, you got a plate that drops in here on the back. Um, you can adjust this for here and here for height, and you can adjust it for girth on the sides. What we have with this been running for uh, about a year and a half. Um, cleaning, you got minor stain. You can just use a, a wet cloth and wipe it off. Uh, you could use compressed air to get like salt and stuff off of it. Um, but occasionally, you're gonna put this to the washer. So take off all your equipment. You can leave the pouches on and uh, put it in, in the washing machine, and uh, it comes out looking real good. Um, you will need to take out the soft body armor panels because you don't want them to get wet. So um, that's my setup. Obviously, everybody can differ on what they do. Everybody's a little bit uh, different and has different preferences. But this is working pretty good for me. And uh, we've got these, uh, also these two pockets here and here. And uh, they'll fit a notebook, they'll fit a phone, that type of thing. They are pretty deep, so um, you can lose stuff in there. But uh, works pretty well for me. All right. Uh, take care.